We are spending 72 hours in this pop-top camper van to show you what it's like to live out of. This video is sponsored by Field Van. Our 72 hour adventure in the field van started in Reno, Nevada, where we picked up their Summit S1. Andrew gave us a full walkthrough explaining the different systems and then gave us a tour of their shop where they had one of their classics on display. Got the keys, let's go have some fun. We've got the van for 72 hours. Time to get some provisions. The van easily fit into a parking spot and then we proceeded to see how much we could fit into the fridge and cabinets. I think we may have overbought. We met up with friends who led us to a secret spot in the Nevada desert. We made it! Got a beautiful lake behind us. I would say this is a pretty epic campsite. We're gonna get set up and maybe go for a dip, who knows? Top is popped, we're all set up, and the view up here, 10-10. It's kind of incredible how much room you have in here once the top goes up because I can't even touch the ceiling. I totally forgot that we need to unpack all of our stuff. There is a ladder, but I'm pretty agile. The thing I love about this layout, all the storage. And the best part, his and hers closets. I'm gonna put all of Joe's stuff in here my unmentionables. <laughs> the other thing I really like about Joe's side of the closet is there is a rod here so you can remove these and hang your nice dress shirts or dresses or jackets whatever it may be. But the coolest part is down here is a little secret cubby. Well it's not so secret anymore but it's some extra storage. Not only are there his and hers closets there are two beds in here as well. Are we going to fight for who gets the penthouse? I want the penthouse bed. I guess yeah. we're not fighting. <laughs> I called it first. Well, I think we're going to call it a night. But before we do, um, I'm going to need to set up the toilet. It's that time of the night. I think this is where you cut the video. This is amazing. We have cows roaming through our campsite. It's definitely the highlight so far. are back. Oh, hi friends. Joe also ended up in the penthouse. <laughs> we both slept up here very comfortably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to get my coffee. Yeah. Is 
so I didn't bring my coffee gear. So I'm drinking instant coffee, just easy. What I'm gonna do is just heat the water up in the microwave and then get my coffee ready to roll. I know what you all must be thinking. What has happened to Joe that he's drinking instant coffee? We flew out here, so I don't have all my coffee gear and my coffee and everything else. Oh. See, now this is the kind of landscape I want to have while enjoying my coffee. And I just love all these windows. Cheers. After a relaxing cup of coffee, Kate and I spent some time with our friends and their pup. Yeah, rolling the poop. After saying our goodbyes, we set up the awning and chairs and just enjoyed the beauty of the lake. I can only relax so much, so I decided to get some work done. And seeing as how Kate had no one else to talk to, she opened her laptop as well. What are you doing up there? <laughs> I'm taking the sunshade off. Get some airflow. Oh, now that the sun has gone over the horizon? Yes. And I'm going to put the bug screens up because the flies are out and the mosquitoes. Got to have clean hands before I start cooking. Does lettuce wrap still sound good to you? Lettuce wrap sausage? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm in. Scoot the toilet out of the way. Chicken sausages, how many do you want? Two. Some romaine lettuce. A little mustard. Pan going. Okay. Since we flew in for this camper experience, Joe and I are keeping the meals very simple. Lettuce, mustard, and sausage. Tasty and healthy. Thank you. Ta da! Oh. Careful, they're gonna be hot. Almost lost my wiener. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. And for dessert. Kiwi. Thank you. Cheers. It has been an incredible 48 hours so far. Now it's time to see what it's like to go urban camping in this Pop Top camper. Let's reference our driving pre-check. Top locked. Captain seats are forward, no shore, no propane, tire pressure, okay. All good. Looks good.
Our first stop back in civilization, the gym for a shower. Kate's in there now. I'm about to head in. I'm just getting some work done before I do. Now, this does have an outdoor shower. However, the place we were camped, we couldn't discharge any water onto the ground. So it's been 48 hours since we've last showered. It'll be nice to uh, get all the grime off. Freshly showered, feeling good. to wash some of that desert grime off and I just found us a very interesting place to camp for the night in the city so we're gonna pack things up and head that way we drove 110 miles on city highway and hilly terrain so when we were going out to the lake and we averaged 14.56 mpg. Your destination is on the left. It is quite nice to be able to go in, have a couple beers, and then walk out to your home and not have to worry about driving. Good morning, and unfortunately, it is our final morning in the field van. We have to return this, but Kate and I have really enjoyed our experience in here, and I think a highlight for both of us was getting to sleep in the penthouse and then waking up that one morning to the lake, the cows, and just that gorgeous view. This is not gonna be the last camper we test out like this. So if there are campers, RVs, trailers, whatever you're looking for us to test, let us know down in the comments below and we'll do our best to see if we can get in one. If you wanna see a full walkthrough of this particular camper, head on over to our channel and look for that and We'll link to it in this video. So that is it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed coming along for this adventure. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and head on over to our website at we'retherussos.com. We'll see you next time. Bye.